Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, July 24th, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Hebrews. Chapter number 11. And it's verses 3 and 6. And we're going to start at verse 6. Scripture says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Friends, we gotta we gotta have a belief in God that that defines us. What I mean by that is is the writer of Hebrews here says that that for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, must believe that God is. Our faith must believe that God is. Our faith must trust that God is who he said he is. Because let's face it, we haven't seen God face to face. So therefore, for some people, that is a hard concept to understand. It's hard to believe that there is a God. They haven't seen him. They haven't touched him. I always tell them you can't see the air that you breathe. But you know it's there. How do we know it's there? Because we're breathing and we're alive. So we can't touch the air. We can't feel the air. I've been in the mountains. I've been at the seashore. The air feels exactly the same in both of them, in, in, in my opinion. I've been on the sea. The air feels the same. We can breathe it. So therefore... Faith has to have a trust, and faith must be a trust that leads to obedience in knowing that God indeed is who he is. Having that faith, having that trust that God is who he said he is, and the rest of that verse is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. A rewarder giving us, giving us not only the good and perfect gifts, like he talks about in the book of James, but that also he is going to reward our faith by giving us by making us making it easier for us to trust him by helping us to live obediently to him to live the life that he wants us to live so without faith without that trust without that obedience it is impossible to please god then he says in verse number 3 through faith through that trust through that obedience we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Now that we have that trust in God, we understand that we have to have a trust in God and that he is who he is. That's going to help us to trust that that he is the creator exactly who he said he is. That everything we see outside our windows, the flowers, the trees, the sky, the mountains, the seashore, the ocean, everything we could see was created by God. And and having that trust helps us to build our faith, to help our faith get stronger and stronger. Then we look in the rest of Hebrews chapter 11, and I encourage you to read that, to read the rest of Hebrews chapter 11. There's many biblical scholars call it the Hall of Faith. It's our, our Hall of Fame, if you would, for the Christian Christian life. And we could see people such as Abel, such as Noah, such as Joseph, as Mo- Moses, as all these great icons that we see in the Old Testament of how their their trust in God helped them to to live the life that God wanted them to live, helped them to accomplish the things that God wanted to accomplish through them. And... And we could get that trust through them, through seeing their example, to see, see how God worked in their life. It's going to make it easier for us to trust God and to be able to trust that he's going to take care of us in the same way that he took care of them. 
So it's by faith, by our trust, that we grow into the people that God wants us to be. How's your faith today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (music) 